Nkunku to Chelsea, here we go. Confirmed by Fabrizio Romano, a deal has been signed and sealed as we always told you that it's closing in, it's closing in and any time from like last week, a here we go was nearing. Obviously, it has been given to us by the man who promised to give it to us, that is Fabrizio Romano. Then Lionel Messi, future, PSG trying to convince him to stay at the club. And lastly, Judy Bellingham paying a visit to his former club that he played when he, that he played at when he was at 16 years of age that is Birmingham after England was knocked out of the World Cup quarterfinals by France in his preparation to go back to Borussia Dortmund to join his team where he plays for he decided to pay a visit to his team that really saw him become the player that he is right about now welcome to rockani media football how are you guys and where are you watching us from this is rockani david obviously we are into different episode all podcast concerning a done deal this time round that is of Unkunku to chelsea and here we go has been announced by fabrizio romano smash the like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time lower right bottom corner that's the place to be smash the black button that has that has the word subscribe after smashing it hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified every time we upload a video onto this channel now let's go straight into the story of Nkunku that has been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano the number one transfer journalist Mr. He We Go now he has told us that Christopher Nkunku deal signed and sealed here we go now confirmed all documents and contracts are also signed. It's a hundred percent closed. French striker can be considered new Chelsea player starting from July 2023. It's all signed, sealed with Arabi Leipzig and the player's side. Now, when Tony Boyle came in through, people thought that he was here to do comedy or to go on and talk to take him jokingly but this guy he's shaking the walls he's shaking the walls if at all you know how teams like man city have managed to go on and become successful barcelona and very many others this is what they've been doing and he's giving me a reason to get scared chelsea was not a team that was used to do this like this Chelsea would go in with its money and sign in a player and there is no way they could allow Nkunku to join them in the summer when they're having a very vacant position to full to fulfill in the striker position in January. Remember, even Ahmad Broja got an injury. So it shows you how far Chelsea has gone ahead to change. They're bringing in new technical directors, sporting directors. Obviously, technical directors are new. The manager is new. That is Graham Porter and very many others. That confirms to you that it is really changing. And congratulations to Tony Boyle for signing Christopher Nkunku, a player who is still young, having a lot of future with him. He has been consistent for the previous three seasons, scoring goals in and out, missed out of the World Cup because of the injury he got while France was training, and he is now totally out. But he has gotten some good news that Chelsea is coming through with the money. They've paid 60 million euros to... RB Leipzig, they've triggered the buyout clause of 60 million euros, and obviously, they've made him their first signing of the summer. And what people don't know is, Chelsea knew that there was going to be very many clubs that are really going to be searching in for strikers in the summer. That's why they decided to go in for Unkunku and get the deal done in January. A medical was conducted like in September, in September this year. Now, I think negotiations were all about the agent fees the amount of money that Ngoko should be earning weekly at chelsea and so on and so forth but it's a very good deal done at a very perfect time i would like my team that i support to also copy a leaf from what chelsea has done and continue doing that because that shows you the competency of the of the of the employees you have at your club you get the competence of the board the YC ahead, meaning that Nkunku is now a Chelsea player. There is not going to be any bidding wars to get Nkunku. He's the hot cake. Real Madrid will be wanting a striker. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester United, um, PSG, Bayern Munich. So what Chelsea did was let's go in and do the unthinkable. Because the thinkable was teams will go in for Nkunku in the summer. Chelsea did the unthinkable 
by signing him before the summer obviously putting themselves on the best side of preparing for next season and this confirms to me that i think Tony Boyle brought in Graham Porter and told him that don't worry about this season even if you write it off but we are going to do the best and plan for you and give you the best players that you want and obviously this is what Chelsea is all about i think it's a it's a signing that every Chelsea fan is going to be excited about because the player is tailor made for the premier league his physicality is not doubted he's having a very finishing skill set with him he's proven a player that Ralph Ragnick wanted i got to know about Nkunku when Ralph Ragnick came in at Manchester United when he really put out a list to the board that these are the players you should go on and sign and if I told you he had went in early enough in the summer they would have gone ahead and signed him because had he hadn't renewed his contract at Leipzig to put in about close of 60 million euros maybe at 50 they would have gotten him so it shows you how good this player is because even all the scouted players because every team was scouting him it shows you how beautiful this guy is. So congratulations to Chelsea for signing Christopher Nkunku, but he's not joining you in January. He's joining you in July of 2023, and that's what Fabrizio is going to have to confirm to us. Leaving that Nkunku story, let's get to the Lionel Messi story. Fabrizio Roman has told us that Paris Saint-Germain will make their final proposal to Lionel Messi in the next weeks. All the people into the club want Leo to stay and continue at least for one more year. Messi will decide in 2023. PSG will push after Inter Miami approaches, but nothing was agreed. Obviously, Inter Miami of David Beckham came in through and pushed to sign Lionel Messi, but Messi and his team, I believe it's not yet time for them to quit Europe, according to me. I believe he has to go on and offer one or two years for Barcelona give him a very good send off obviously do the needful but to me my mind is telling me that messi has something to prove outside barcelona he wants to win something big for paris saint germain and if at all it happens that he wins the champions league with psg this season however much they are having a very huge a very a very, a very difficult draw against bayern munich if at all he happens to win i think he will go if he doesn't win, I think he'll sign one more year to give it another go to say to it that he counters all those people that criticize him for not having won something major outside Barcelona. That's it. And I believe he is looking at that to break that record also to silence very many people that are really doing that talk that is really nonsensical on him. Because to me, I believe playing for one team does not matter does it matter because what matters are the stats and your quality that you put out of the field of play game in game out so paris and germain want messi to stay and according to what he has put up at the world cup obviously they would love to keep a player like messi because looks like he is really getting back to the prime Lionel messi he looked great in the world cup and tomorrow he's playing into the champions league final with france in qatar so that's concerning Lionel Messi a little bit of Lionel Messi but Lionel Messi is still to make up his decision make up his mind to see to it that he stays or leaves PSG and goes to the next club now Judy Bellingham you know he signed for he signed for Borussia Dortmund at the age of 16 17 having played very many games in the championship and obviously he was playing for belly he was playing for birmingham now yesterday judy bellingham returned to nights returned at night to his boyhood club birmingham to thank all the fans birmingham retired jude bellingham's number shirt number 22 after the midfielder left for dotting for dotmund when he was 17 just after 44 appearances this is insane at the age of 16 playing in the second tier league of England that shows you how talented you are and talent doesn't lie with hard work if at all they are combined together you've seen what Judy Bellingham has turned into one of the players that is rated the best in his age bracket at the age of 19 I believe no midfielder is better than him in that position and obviously that's why his price is even 150 million euros that Dortmund want 
Liverpool, Real Madrid, and other teams that are interested in him to pay. So good to see him pay pay a visit back to his former club, that is Birmingham, as they beat Reading yesterday by three goals to one, and Hannibal of Manchester United was responsible for an assist of a goal, I think, of Chongi scored. So it was a very nice day for Bellingham to return home, and it's like a gesture that he's going to return back to England because he's going to Liverpool most preferably. So guys, thank you very much for watching in. Tell me what you think about Nkunku to Chelsea. Here we go. Everything done, signed and sealed. The deal has been done and dusted. That's it. Then, what do you think about Lionel Messi? Is he going to stay at PSG or not? Then, Judy Bellingham paying a visit to his boyhood club known as Birmingham. A sign out for now. See you later. Rock and David is my name. May you, my Lord, bless you abundantly. We are returning back with the confirmed starting 11 of Arsenal versus a team called, called, the team is called Juventus.